I probably don't need to remind you of this, but the last three races have gone Q3, Q2, Q1, and unfortunately Spa, you guys were the slowest car of the 10 uh, out on track. Is that, is that something that needs to be rectified, or is that something that was just very much the nature of those circuits that lent it towards those kind of performances? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think um, Hungary was that bad, actually. I think, um, you know, I had to pit because of the wing damage, but without that, I think we would have been running in the points, whether we could have stayed there or not, I don't, I don't know, but I think it was, you know, not a, not a bad um, track for us, and in, in terms of the car's performance, it was not that bad, so... Uh, Spa wasn't good, but we, we know that these low downforce tracks are tough for us. Uh, this is a high downforce track, so hopefully, you know, we, we should be expecting a little bit of here. You didn't race here last year, but you've got good history on this track. How much are you looking forward to getting back out there? Very old school, twisty, turny, lots of undulation, big challenge. Yeah, I did it. Last time I was here was like 2010 or 11, and it was an NF3 car, and even in an NF3 car, it felt really, really fast. So it's going to be super fun. You know, I looked at, I watched the race last year, of course, and it just looks spectacular. Um, Formula One cars around this track. So really looking forward to it and uh, hopefully we'll have a, be a better weekend. You're on quite the run of consistent point scoring races. How do you turn those few points into bigger points, though, on each race weekend? Well, let's see. I think uh, we had a few races that we were not super lucky. Um, even uh, in this run of, of points, uh, Barcelona, we started last. Austria, the car didn't start on the sprint race and we start last on Sunday and we still even score points on those races. But uh, we need to, uh, to have clean weekends, uh, not having any problems Saturday and Sunday. And uh, probably those, um, those will be a, a better, um, better weekends in terms of points. The team has been quite incredible this year with the consistent bringing of upgrades to the car, which all seem to have done a, a pretty decent job, certainly from us looking from the outside. Um, as I understand it, you still have a few more races of upgrades still to come for this season. How impressed have you been with what the team has done and the performance that it's been able to add to that car through the year? Yeah, very impressive. I think uh, we started uh, a little bit worried in Bahrain and uh, winter testing. We had uh, some up and downs there in terms of uh, performance, but uh, I think from uh, Australia or Jeddah onwards, the, the team has grown up a lot and, uh, and the engine also is much better than last year. We have some reliability issues, but uh, we have the more power than last year, so uh, we accept that. And uh, yeah, we are now fighting with McLaren for the Constructor Championship and maybe that was a little bit uh, a dream at the beginning of the year. So I think we are achieving or overachieving compared to what we thought. You had a lot of fun here last year. How much are you looking forward to this? I, I, I love this race. I, I like this atmosphere here, thanks to Max, obviously. And uh, but I like the city and I like the, everything around the circuit. So I think it's going to be a great weekend. You wanted, and it's not a nice statistic, but one podium in the last nine races is a difficult one. Is the championship Ferrari last time out in Spa? Red Bull looked a long way uh, ahead. Is it circuit specific, or at least is that what you hope? Um, I think. Track characteristics helped a little bit uh, Red Bull in Spa, but it doesn't explain the whole uh, the whole difference there was. But we've been working very hard in the last two days, and we have some ideas of from where it's, it's coming from, probably. Uh, but we'll probably have the confirmation only in Monza on a track that is a bit similar to uh, to Spa. Can you ruin Max's party this weekend? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, if we are closer and if we are more competitive like the first part of the season, then yes. Uh, if it's like Spa, no way.